Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I am here for the first time in Jefferson City, Tennessee. We have lots of people here, which is much appreciated. Yes. I am again going for overall win number 1017. I am here for the first time at Twin Dragon Hibachi Express. Now it's called that Twin Dragon. It's because there's one for China and one for Japan. So we've got both Chinese and Japanese food here on this Dragon Challenge. I am hoping to become the second person to defeat this thing. My girlfriend Katina Eats Kilos just finished it. So I've got one hour to finish everything here. It all looks and smells amazing. I know Katina just said she enjoyed it all. I think her favorite, she said, was the General Tso's chicken, which is pretty much what I order every time I go get Chinese food. But we've got a whole bunch of General Tso's chicken. We've got a whole bunch of sweet and sour chicken, which I have the sweet and sour sauce right here. We've got two of their egg rolls. I love egg rolls as well. On top of all this, we've got, it's not crab ragoon, but similar, cause it's just cheese, but there are six fried cheese wontons. We've got a whole bunch of carbs. We've got a whole bunch of fried rice back here. We have a whole bunch of lo mein noodles. And then for the Japanese portion, I think, we've got a whole bunch of, it is Hibachi Express, Hibachi vegetables, healthy vegetables on the bottom. I know there's broccoli, Katina, what else is there? Zucchini, onions. And then on top, I'm very excited for all these meats. We've got these three hibachi meats. There's a bunch of steak, chicken, and shrimps. These sauces are optional. This is similar to a yum yum sauce, which is not fat free. I did try it earlier, but one hour to finish. If I fail, it's gonna be $40. But if I win, I'll get my entire meal for free, which is I think just over six pounds. I will get a sweet hat to add to my collection, and I'll be the second person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, Katina Eats Kilos just dominated this challenge in 29 minutes and nine seconds, and that was 100% of the time with chopsticks, which I am definitely not gonna do, so I am gonna try to beat that time. Big thank you to the owners, Cindy and Ron, and their families for having me in to help, along with Katina, kick off this Dragon Challenge. I know Cindy's uh, mother and father both helped cook this massive dragon challenge. So let's just shut up and eat and get it started. I think I'm gonna start off with one of these fried cheese wontons and then we'll have some of the General Tso's chicken. One, two, three, boom. All right, let's do sweet and sour sauce. Oh yeah, those are good. Katina's got better chopstick skills than me, but we'll see. Thankfully I have an hour if I'm gonna do this. I'm 88% sure I've never had sweet and sour chicken before. I think I've only had sweet and sour pork, so let's do it. This yum yum sauce is for the hibachi stuff, but let's try it in with this. Two minutes, 45 seconds, delicious so far. I love egg rolls, let's try one without any sauce. Gotta love healthy cabbage, fry. I'm finishing this fried stuff before it uh, cools down too much. I can't really say I have a favorite between sweet and sour chicken and pork, but this chicken is very, very good. Almost done with it. Just 
sit six minutes in, let's finish off the general sauce chicken. Katina loves this shirt on me and she loves when I wear red athletic shorts. One of those is true, one's a lie. Which one do you think? <laughs> had my very first bite of the Japanese hibachi meats, that shrimp, amazing. Looking forward to having all that after I finish with this General South chicken. The General South chicken sauce, like Katina said in her video, which is linked down below, is amazing, it's perfect. But we are finally done with it. I've tried all three so far. Shrimp, definitely number one, followed right behind by steak and then the chicken, but the chicken is still great too. Ooh, which is good, we have a lot of it. I know I won't shut up, but I can't with how good that steak is, it's so juicy. There's a lot of healthy vegetables too. Mushrooms, broccoli, onions, delicious. My friends tell me this all the time. I am well-traveled. I am not cultured. <laughs> there is a difference. I think I'm gonna take the shrimp as my favorite over the General South chicken. The shrimp is so good. This meal is so high in deliciousness, it's also high in sodium, but <laughs> worth it, because all of this is amazing. Loving all the, I think, teriyaki sauce or soy sauce, whatever is on these vegetables, amazing. All right, last bite to me. And I did say I was done with the General Tso's earlier. There were some pieces hiding, which is good, because it's great too. If I don't beat Katina's time, I'm never gonna hear the end of it. How you doing on that? I'm not doing very well. I'm 22 and a half minutes in. Hers is 29.09. Even if she does beat me though, I have no problem with just being a stay-at-home trophy boyfriend while she takes all the, uh, all the glory. Katina really slowed down on the rice. I'm gonna try to power through. Yeah!
I'm channeling my inner Mulan to finish all this. Oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm in a lose-lose situation. If I beat her, I'm an A. <laughs> if I lose, I'm a wuss. So, you'll see what's gonna happen. Win. Things you do for love. Last bite. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah! Uh, 29 minutes and nine seconds. <laughs> If I beat her by four seconds, I would be a jerk. If I lost by four seconds, I would be a sissy. So we tied I, my love of my life. Uh, we're both at 29.09. As my penance for taking that long, uh, they actually forgot about these when making our challenges. They do have great, apparently, sweet carrots. And carrots, along with broccoli, are some of my favorite vegetables. So, ooh, for dessert. I'm not timing this, I'm just finishing. The sauce on these carrots is pretty legit. Now I am done with the carrots, those were outstanding, but like I said earlier, definitely my favorites of the challenge and really all of these that were on this Dragon Challenge is all of the most popular favorite menu items here at Twin Dragon Hibachi Express in Jefferson City, Tennessee. All of that food was amazing, but I gotta say, the shrimp as part of the hibachi was amazing, followed right behind by the steak that was such juicy steak. Really enjoyed the General Tso's chicken. Like I said, I get that all the time when I go get Chinese food, but yeah, for winning, 29.09, I will be tied on the Wall of Fame, which is just so towards the dorms. I will get my $40 meal for free, and I will proudly get a hat, which they had made specially for this challenge. Of course, it's got Twin Dragon Hibachi Express, and then on the side, they've got embroidered Dragon Challenge winner. So I do get to add this sweet hat to my collection after I make it a little bit bigger, but yeah. Thank you guys all for coming. I really appreciate it, all of the support. I'll be going, uh, Katina and I have three upcoming challenges in Virginia these next few days, but always great to be here in Tennessee. Thank you guys for watching.